and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here if this is your first time then welcome to our BS family we're so glad that you're here and we are back to our regular regularly scheduled broadcasting so yes if you notice I'm in the same outfit that I was in in yesterday's video and it is actually being recorded on the same night so um, we traveled over the weekend had a rough day on Sunday, had some car trouble, got in really late, and even though I did my Bible study, video didn't happen until today. So, wearing the same thing, it is what it is, but we're going to go ahead and jump right in because we are on day 22. 22. What? Yes, I'm so excited about it. It is an awesome, awesome study, and... It's really kind of like really just how she brings all this together and just kind of puts everything that it needs to be by each other together is just really cool. So let's go ahead and pray and then we'll jump right in. Okay. All right. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just love you so much. We just thank you so much for being here. I ask that you be with every person watching this video and just be in this time of study. We just love you and we thank you because you are who you say you are and we are who you say we are. We love you and we thank you. Amen. Okay, so you kind of might have gotten there, but today's study, the topic or the title of today's study, so the title of today's study is You Are Who God Says You Are. So I am who God says I am. You are who God says you are. So we are going to be in Colossians, Colossians, it's hard to say, 3.12. So Colossians 3.12, it says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. <sighs> okay, so that's what all that we're supposed to put on. So what is really cool about this um, is a few days ago, so not yesterday, but the day before, we talked about on day 20, it was God is who he says he is and how God says he is all these things and he has made us all these promises and we have to have faith and put faith over fear, be fearless that God is who he says he is and that he's going to keep these promises and that he has not forsaken us, he's not lied to us and that God is God. And we have to understand that and I think a lot of times we can easily be like, yes, that is legit, it is so true. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. God is who he says he is. We know that, and we can be confident in that fact. But, role reversal here, and now we have to believe that we are who God says we are. And that's what it's saying here, is that he has, he has our, we are his chosen people, holy and dearly loved. We are to clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Whew. So she goes on here, Annie does, and talks about a friend who's gotten a new job. And she's in the banking industry, which is really crazy because, um, yes, my husband's a youth pastor, but he's also in the banking industry and in the loan industry. And so this was kind of just, I, I thought it was funny. Um, but she talks about how her friend is just super excited because they're going to learn about counterfeit money. And so she thinks that she's going into work and she's going to have like all these moments of learning about all the FBI stuff and the cool stuff about, you know, oh, how to spot this counterfeit and how to spot this counterfeit. And she's going to get to see it and touch it and feel it and all these kind of stuff. And they hand her a stack of $50, no, a stack of $1 bills. She gets 50 $1 bills, real $1 bills. They're not counterfeit. They are real $1 bills. And they hand them to her and they're like, count them. And so she gets done counting through these, you know, $1 bills, $51 bills. They're like, do it again, 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 do it again. And so she goes through and she's like, I don't know if, and he's like, I don't know if she's telling the truth, but she says she did it like a hundred times, okay? She counts these $51 bills a hundred times and she's like, what the heck is this gonna do for me to help me understand about a counterfeit? And they're like, well, she said, now you have no... Her trainer, the trainer says, now you know how real money feels. You have practiced so much with the real thing that you will easily notice a fake. And so I was like, oh, that's good. That's really good. And so she says here that when we spend time with God and we immerse ourselves in the truth of his word, that we'll easily notice the lies and things we hear in our head that aren't really us. And so I had to really congest that and take that in and really think about it. But it's so true. If we're spending time daily in God's word, 
if we're spending significant time, and I don't just mean reading a Bible verse here and there, doing the Bible app on our phone, doing this Bible study daily. If we really, truly dig in and study God's Word at least 15 to 20, 30 minutes. I'm not saying you have to spend hours and hours. 15, 20, 30 minutes a day. If we're really doing that. And then we go in and we are really praying and we're putting in time for prayer. And so we're spending, again, another, I'd say at least 30 minutes in prayer. So that may be as an hour chunk of our time, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever. Maybe if you only have 30, if you can just start out with 30, start where you can start. Okay. 15, you know, prayer, 15, studying God's word, 10, 10, whatever you can do. I, I say 10 would be as minimal as I would go. 10 minutes in prayer, 10 minutes studying God's word. I think if you can do that, that's 20 minutes, guys. Come on. 20 minutes. We get longer than that a lot of times from lunch break. I think we can donate or donate. <laughs> I think we can, you know, set aside 20 minutes a day at least to hand that over to God. Solely, nothing else going on, not on our phones, not, you know, everything else, you know, with me, it's the dogs, whatever. 20 minutes at least. And if we can immerse ourselves in his truth and his word and spending that time with him and being still and listening to what he says, then we are going to be more apt to notice when something pops in our head and the devil's trying to fill stuff in there and we're like, mm, wait a minute, don't think so. That's not, that's not how God says it. That's not what God says about me. That's not what God thinks. So that can't be from God. That's got to be from Satan, from the devil. That's got to be, you know, me letting him get in and be, that's when I need to hold up my, you know, guard and say, not today, Satan, not today. Okay. And it says, we're going to be more apt to understand those and to recognize those situations and be able to put up our, my, mm -mm, no, you are not getting in here. No negativity. No, 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 no. Okay. And so, but we have to do that. We have to be able to donate. I keep saying donate. We have to be able to set aside that time for God and do that. And if we're not willing to do that, then guys, what are we doing? Right? What are we doing? And it says, again, I'm going to read it again. What she says, when you spend time with God and immerse yourself in the truth of his word, you will easily notice the lies and the things you hear in your head that aren't really you. So if we have to realize we are who God says, says we are, then if we're thinking of other things like you're not good enough, you're not this, you're not that, and it's not biblical and it's not what God says, then it's not a, it's not who we really are. It's not who we are, who God's called us to be, who God says we are. And she goes on, she said, you will hear the truth of who God says you are much more clearly. Like just how he said in Colossians, we are dearly, holy and dearly loved. Holy and dearly loved. God says we are that. Then we are that. Okay. And then she goes on and she says all these different things. I'm going to read it straight from her book. So this is literally, I've got them underlined. And I'm going to, this is quotes, guys, quotes, okay? Um, it says, all over his word, you will find that God says, you are accepted. So I'm going to say that again. You are accepted. I'm going to say it to you. You are accepted. You are a friend of God. His heir. You are his heir, okay? How cool is that? We are an heir of God. You are completely forgiven. Completely forgiven. You are secure. You are free from condemnation. That's in Romans 8. You are free from condemnation. You are significant. You are significant, guys. In Ephesians 2, it says that you are God's workmanship. He created you. You are from Him. You are His masterpiece. You are his workmanship, seated with Jesus in the heavenly realms. You, this is me, you are enough, you guys. You are enough. You are brave. You are courageous. You are fearless. You are enough. You are not alone. God is with you. We are all those things because his word tells us that. And that is so completely freaking amazingly awesome. Okay? I don't know how else to say that. But if we just repeat ourselves, and I've seen so many times people will have a thing where it says, you are enough, you are this, you are this, you are this, you are this. You guys, you are all those things that God says you are. And if we truly believe that God is who he says he is, then how come we can't believe we are who God says we are? Think about that. If we truly, truly believe with all of our heart, that God is who his word says that he is. The great I am, the 
Almighty Father, the, you know, Alpha, the Omega, beginning and the end, all of those things, Prince of Peace. If we believe that he truly is who he says he is, and I hope that you do because I know I do, then why can we not believe that we are who he says we are? Think about that, you guys. Think about it. All over his word, God says that you are strong and important on this planet. You are who God says you are, and you can be brave because God says you are brave. Okay? Add a lead end on the end. But you are brave because God says you are brave, and you are a child of his because God says so. We just have to believe it. We just have to own it. We have to encompass that, and we have to tell ourselves every single day, multiple times a day if we have to, that we are who God says we are. We are. You are. And that's, you guys, that like, that... Mm, that chokes me up a little bit because I know I don't believe it enough and that but yet I say all the time I believe God is who he says he is and if I believe that then I have to believe that I am who he says I am which is whew, that's tough that's a that's a tough pill to swallow to know that if I'm gonna believe that then I have to believe this just what it is so her be brave call to action says finish this sentence I am significant because blank, and here are three ways that impacts my life. I am significant because blank, and here are three ways that impacts my life. And so what I wrote down was, I am significant because, and the only part I've done is this, I am significant because God says I am, and here are three ways that impacts my life. It makes me brave. It makes me courageous, which is basically the same thing, but I'm coming up with these on a whim. And it makes me humble. Brave, courageous, and humble. And I have to own that. Because God says I am. Whew. That's something, y'all. God says that about you, too. So you have to believe that you are who God says you are. I believe it. I'm going to believe it more in myself. So tomorrow and today, the rest of today, go out and be who God says you are. Be that brave, strong, courageous, significant person who is enough to conquer those mountains. All right, you guys. Whew, that was good stuff, y'all. Super, super love that. So we're back on track. We are on day 22. I'm so thankful that you were here. If you liked this video, definitely please subscribe to my channel to see more. Um, got some other stuff coming up. I'm getting ready to post our weekend vlog in a couple days. I'm still working on that video, um, but excited to be able to post that. Um, so definitely be checking that out, but definitely subscribe to my channel. If you want to be notified, then definitely click that little bell because then you'll get an email notification when I post a new video. Plus also, if you loved everything that you saw or if you firmly, truly believe that you are who God says you are, give this video a big thumbs up. And I will let you guys go. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your evening. And always, always, always remember there ain't nothing much better than Jesus, coffee, and hippos. Bye, y'all.